you might think that you are immune against the influence and the subtle tentacles of a political or religious cult. Think again. Two-thirds of your thoughts are on a habitual or unconscious level. And if you don't stand guard at the guardrails of your mind, fanaticists, demagogues, and other evil players have an easy play at capturing your mind, your liberty, separating you from your close friends and family, and also taking all your money and freedom away. Historians, social scientists, and psychologists until this day are baffled why ordinary, decent, intelligent people could be hypnotized by a mass murderer such as Adolf Hitler or Stalin or Mao Zedong. The great Swiss psychiatrist Carl Gustav Jung closely studied the events unfolding during Nazi Germany and he was horrified by millions of people following uh, the uh, Nazis and their fanaticism. And this was well before the start of World War II. Jung described the rise of fascism in Germany as nothing less than an outbreak of epidemic insanity. No one knew what was happening to them. Least of all, the Germans who allowed themselves to be driven by their leading psychopaths like hypnotized sheep. Jung often referred to the lack of self-awareness and understanding of one's own dark demons as possibly the greatest threat to humanity. Jung wrote that it's not famine, earthquakes or microbes, nor cancer, but man himself who is man's greatest danger to man, for the simple reason that there is no adequate protection against psychic epidemics, which are infinitely more devastating than the worst natural catastrophes. There are several historic precedents where mass madness in the form of fanaticism gripped entire populations, such as during the witch hunts in the Middle Ages and inquisitions, where some villages in Europe were literally wiped out and had their entire female populations burnt at the stake. There is a thin veneer between civilized, decent behavior and this tipping point into the darkest shadows of human nature. Radical fanaticism, by definition, is the unquestioning devotion to a particular belief, ideology, or cause. The followers will follow the cult leader until the end. We've seen this with uh, cult leaders like Jim Jones, where the followers followed him into mass suicide, and uh, uh, other cult leaders in the past who find every sort of excuse for the failings of the cult leader. When a person becomes a radical fanatic, their behavior and thought patterns can significantly change. And these changes can be reflected in brain activity. Exposure to extremist ideologies and constant reinforcement of such beliefs can reshape neural pathways, strengthening connections related to those beliefs. This is especially the case when individuals are exposed to repeated propaganda or information, mentally blending out all alternatives, views, or other perspectives. Fanaticism involves heightened emotions, such as fear, anger, and a sense of righteousness. Such intense emotions then shut off the prefrontal cortex, which is responsible for logic, thought, and activation, instead of the brain's animal reptilian instincts, the fight, freeze, or flight mode. You are literally on automatic mode 
when you are in an unconscious state, when you are not aware, when you don't stand guard at the doorway of your mind. Radical fanatics generally exhibit confirmation bias, interpreting information in a way that confirms their existing beliefs, favoring their own tribe or group, and dehumanizing those outside the group. The emergence of radical behavior and extremist ideologies in societies has historically been a gradual process, often taking decades to fully manifest, like a creeping poison in the body. However, the advent of social media, particularly those lacking stringent checks and balances to curb fake news and disinformation, have injected a particularly potent accelerant into an already poisonous mix. Social media is providing a platform to dangerous individuals with psychopathic tendencies, malignant narcissism, and fanatical beliefs, allowing their toxic ideologies to spread far and wide at an alarming speed. In the face of the escalating peril by contemporary political narratives, it is imperative for us to act as vigilant guardians of the mind. We must exercise heightened caution particularly regarding politicians and news outlets that propagate messages of hatred, division, anger, fear, and discontent in fanning the flames of grievance culture. These forces are driven by a sinister agenda and are actively seeking to manipulate your mind you will be particularly susceptible to a religious or political cult if you are in a vulnerable situation. You might have been dealt a blow in life by having lost a loved one, gone through a divorce or separation, lost your job or your uh, financial means or finding yourself in a spiritual crisis. If you are in the game of blaming everyone else, including your spouse, your employer, the government, the opposing political party, be aware. The charismatic, narcissistic demagogue will be promising a solution for all your problems by blaming external forces for the situation and the anger and the sadness you find yourself. It's our natural instinct to also belong to a community, a family, a tribe. The cult will offer a home, a community, and for people especially who think like you. You will be blocking off all other world views, and this is a gradual process, and all perspectives outside of, and you alone and your tribe are in possession of the truth. The Savior is showing you the path to salvation. Cults of both the religious and political nature are very adept at building entire industries around their charismatic leader or their cult. They will continuously ask you to, to donate more and more money to their cause, and they might have some legitimate uh, worthwhile causes they support, but in the background, uh, it's all for uh, spending on the cult leader's personal needs and luxuries. You will be in complete denial once you have been caught in the tentacles of a cult. The evidence will be mounting that your cult leader may be abusive, responsible for criminal behavior, or other misdemeanors, and yet you will continue to find all sorts of excuses for their behavior. If you or your loved one have fallen into the trap of a religious or a political cult, it all depends on how far they have dug themselves in the rabbit hole. 
it's very difficult for people for the ego mind to accept that they supported the wrong cause all along and that they made a serious mistake unfortunately you will not be able to save them it's it's like an addiction a belief is comparable to an addiction and very few people will have the courage to make a turnaround and to admit that they made a mistake and that they were duped they will also be feeling ashamed and will continue defending their position despite all the evidence to the contrary as with all addictions you will have to bide your time until the game is over and they themselves make a slow recovery to sanity and for you it's important to be aware to be aware of your thoughts and your beliefs and to question your beliefs and your thoughts whether they are thoughts that expand your consciousness expand your your love your passion and your tolerance or whether they fan those dark toxic emotions like anger hate and division